And what's the comfort like upstairs in this section that we did? I have to say as closest to perfect as I can possibly imagine. Sound wise, temperature. I think noise pollution is a huge thing going on right now. We live literally 600 feet from a freeway, right? So you don't hear it at all? Inside. We don't hear it. My goal was, as you know, was to try to keep the sound from permeating up through the floors into Bonnie and disturbing her upstairs because it is our home and we built a studio down here. It really holds up well where guys can be in a live room, we're in a studio, and it's really minimized. Just, just a great job. And when we were just open stud walls and open stud ceilings, and I had a drum set sitting there, which I still do, it was pushing 117 dB. After you were all done, well, we brought it down to like a 50-51 upstairs, which is incredible. Uh, it doesn't register on the dB meter. Actually, you breathe louder than what she can hear us practicing down here. Hey, Joe, just want to let you know you did an awesome job on getting this uh, soundproofing, this insulation done in the um, studio. It really worked well. Uh, my goal was, as you know, was to try to keep the sound from permeating up through the floors into Bonnie and disturbing her upstairs because it is our home and we built a studio down here. Also, the, the walls that you did, uh, we put out a room within a room, which meant two walls of two by fours, and you stuffed it through, leaving some air gaps. It really holds up well where guys can be in a live room or in a studio, and it's really minimized. Just, just a great job. And um, I thought that your crews and everybody else did a, a fantastic job. I mean, I really appreciate it. And the price was, was reasonable. Everything was good. Everything was done efficiently. I, I greatly appreciate it. Um, some of the facts on this was, uh, as, you, as you know, because we've done a couple other videos before, is we were trying to, to measure the DB ratings on this. And when we were just open stud walls and open stud ceilings, and I had a drum set sitting there, which I still do, it was pushing 117 dB. After you were all done, and we put some acoustic treatments, which really didn't, didn't help a lot. It just was reflections in the walls and the rooms, but it, it helped. Uh, we brought it down to like a 50-51 upstairs, which is incredible. Uh, humans talk so you're saying from 70. 117 down to 51, that's what, 65, 60 to 70 decibels Jeez. that were reduced? Incredible. I don't know. I have to have that calculator. I don't know. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it really, it really did a good job. I'm really impressed with it. And I think there's a lot of studios sh should... Uh, look into this and um, it, it works it really works and the, and the thing was is is we have no acoustic treatments on the ceiling here right it's drywall right and then your product and then we do have three quarter inch floors upstairs uh that helps with a little bit but there's no carpeting or nothing up there and uh she's happy so that's that's what i was shooting for and that's what happened and we can play here till one in the morning and she's okay with it so can she hear you in her bedroom no no, because she's like a one room uh, uh, perpendicular from the Correct. That Above us here is the living room, dining room, uh, kitchen. Probably 20 feet away from this area here is the bedroom. Cannot hear it. So you're telling me full all out rock band practicing down here and she can sleep through that. At 8 o'clock. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't register on the DB meter. Actually, you breathe louder than what she can hear us practicing down here. You know, this is probably the best I've ever heard of it. Uh, I'm gonna tell you real quick, I don't know if I shared this with you. Um, I know you know that I was a lead singer in a rock band back in my day uh, when I was younger, but <clears throat> we had a uh, band practicing in Willoughby, um, right off of Adkins Road, where the house is literally like, you can, you know, toss a rock in. Yeah, I live down there. Themselves. Okay, Off so here. we had a garage right there in the neighborhood, and the first night, we all set up in there to jam out, and within 15 minutes, the police were knocking on our garage, right. telling us, you gotta cut this out. So then we, we just kinda cut it out for that day, listened to the radio, and talked a little bit. And then the next day, we tried it again. We turned it down a little bit. Mm. Literally within 15 minutes, the police yeah, were there again, and they're like, look, we're gonna just make this simple for you. The next time we come back, it's gonna cost you 500 bucks. And then each time after that, it's gonna be more and more. These people don't want to hear your rock band right. in their neighborhood, right? right? So I was like, okay. So the next day I went to work and I talked to my dad, who was the insulation guy. And I said, dad, I got to move to another house. I can't live there and be in a rock band. He goes, why don't you try insulating the garage? Right. So I did. I sprayed the garage two by four same walls. Same product? Same product. Wow. I sprayed the garage with two by four walls, hung a netting on the rafters of the ceiling, and put like an R38, 11 inches up on top of there. The next day we all agreed to shake hands. And uh, if we got fined, then we would split it as a band and I wouldn't be solely, you know, having to 
cover the, the fine that they Yeah, but they probably so, wouldn't have. <clears throat> knowing most bands, <laughs> yeah, they then stop paying. Yeah, they stop paying the 500 right. bucks. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, the next day after we insulated it, we started about 50% volume. And uh, 15 minutes later, I'm peeking out the door. There's nobody there. So I was like, okay, maybe we're good to go. Let's turn it up a little bit more. And within a few days, we were like competing for, you know, how a oh, yeah. singer and a guitarist are like competing for sound. But we'd be competing for sound. And um, not only did the police never come back, but the neighbors actually started coming into our garage wow. to hear us play. Well, I, I, I would have to say I believe that story because I live it here. I mean, in there is a, a DW drum set, and they're loud, and I, I hit hard. Uh, over there is there's amplifiers and stuff like that. So I, I, I would say that's an absolute accurate um, story because it's happening here. Yeah. It's so would you here. say for somebody else that's thinking about getting insulation, they live next to a freeway, they live in a community where there's children playing outside, or... Maybe they're worried about, uh, you know, they're going to be trying to sleep in their bedroom and there's either noise in the house or outside the house. Would you say that if it works for a rock band, it should work for any of those situations? Well, I think noise pollution is a huge thing going on right now. I mean, with, uh, with the air, airplanes, the cars, the exhaust on some of these cars, uh, just people being rowdy now. Uh, we had uh, Jeff from Lost Pond build uh, the addition here and we put triple pane windows in. Uh, you guys insulated upstairs walls. We live literally 600 feet from a freeway. I don't hear it. I heard it outside when we came right. in. Right. So you don't hear it at all. Inside. We don't hear it. And what's the comfort like upstairs in this section that we did? As far as comfort, as far as what volume? Or? As far as the comfort of the home, the consistency, the temperature in this side of the house. This side of the house, I have to say, is closest to perfect as I can possibly imagine. Wow. Sound wise. Um, the temperature, uh, as you said, the ins the um, with the insulation added in the attic, the walls, floors, um, it's not high. Yeah. I've talked to some of my friends. They're talking about the <coughs> energy consumptions of their homes, and I'm going like, "Wow, dude, we're not even near that." And it's it's working. That's awesome. It's working. So I I think it's a really good product. I do recommend it. Um, next home that I build because I. Probably will be doing that because I do that all the time, and we move all over the all, all over the place. Uh, definitely, you'll have to come down to wherever I'm at and get this product going. It's cool. I'm really it's looking cool. forward to that, and I'm very thankful that you uh, trusted us. To, yeah. You know, because I know you had some concerns, especially in the drum room. Sure. Um, and you trusted me right. you know, when I told you I got you, and uh, and now we're seeing that it was actually a good thing. Right. It worked out, man. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right. You calm down and sing a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be over. Just as it seems